Hello. Today we will be making the tiger tag on Inventor. To get started, open up Inventor. Once you open it up, it may ask you for a survey. If the survey pops up, please select no thanks and continue. To get started, we are going to click on new and standard I. To start, we're going to click on 2D Sketch and the XY pane, and click on the rectangle tool. It does not matter what size it is, just draw it. Now click on the dimension tool and click on the top. Drag it up, and you're going to want to type 2, and hit the check mark. And then click on it again, and click on the left side of the tag, drag it out, and this time you're going to type 1.25, and hit the enter sign. Next, we're going to remove the corners. So click on the fillet tool, and you're going to type 0.5, and click on every corner of the tag. Once you do that, we're going to have to put the hole for the chain. Click on the circle tool, zoom, if, zoom in if you need to, and line it up. Now we are going to give it the exact size. Click on the dimension tool, click on the circle, and drag. Click again and type point one two five and hit the check mark. Next we are going to click on it again, click on the center of the circle. click the dimension, click on the center of the circle, and click on the left side of the tag and drag it to, to the center if you want to. Click again, and this time you're going to type point one three in the box. Perfect. Now that we've done that, you're going to Finish the 2D sketch, click up here, and finish it. Now, we have the shape. So we're going to want to extrude this. So click on the extrude tool, and click on the one that has the arrows pointing both the ways. 0 0.05, my bad. Once you do that, click on the tag and hit the check mark. You now have your 3D tag. Now we are going to want to save it. So go up into the top and save. Click this save button and save it into the save it into your folder. or you can save it into your H drive if you want to. Now we are going to improve the tag to give some to give the tag a little more of a look. So now we are going to go to sketch start another 2D sketch and click on the tag. You may want to zoom out if you want to. I don't really know if you want to. Now we are going to choose the project geometry tool. It may not show up, it may just show any one of these. If it does, just click project ge geometry and click on every single line of the tag like I am. Once we do that, click the offset tool from the ribbon and click on the lines. Drag it in and type. Don't click yet, just type point zero three one.
Perfect. Now we are going to click finish sketch. And then click on the extrude. Click in the area that you offsetted. You're going to want to type point zero one five six and make sure it's the error that's pointing out. Click on the area. And hit OK. Now we are going to do it to the other side. So flip it using your orbit tool. Then we are going to do the same thing. So click on Start 2D Sketch, click on the face of the tag, and then click click Project Geometry, and click on every single line. Once we do that, we are going to click on Offset again, click on the outside of the line, start to drag it in, but don't don't click yet, just type point zero three one. Perfect. Now we are going to click finish sketch and then click on the extrude. Click in the area that you offsetted. You're going to want to type point zero one five six, and make sure it's the error that's pointing out. Click on the area, and hit OK. First, we click on the face, create new sketch click on the text tool and draw a box then click where they uh, change the text size and change it to exotic 350 BDBT and type your name and hit OK. Now we are going to are going to make your name bigger. Click on the scale button, draw a box to select your name, click base point, click on the corner, and drag to your to the liking you want. Now if it doesn't fit correctly go back to the move, select it, base point, and click on the corner and move it to the center. <laughs> Done. And then finish your 2D sketch. Now click on embrace, click on your name, type point zero one five six, and hit OK. You have now finished your dog tag. Now the final thing we have to do is to save it in the format for the 3D printer. You are going to want to click File, Print, 3D Preview, and then click up in Ops. Make sure your format is binary and your units are set to inches. Now you're going to want to go to save copy as. It's going to bring you to your file. Now go to go to your specific folder that your teacher wants you to go to and save it in there. 